And for months, critics of the Trump administration said with leadership from the top, we would have seen fewer cases of COVID-19 and perhaps more people following those basic recommendations like social distancing and wearing masks. So with President-elect Joe Biden's support for a nationwide mask mandate, will there be a ripple effect that changes people's behavior? 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser takes a deeper dive. President-elect Biden says he wants to see mask mandates in all 50 states. But will that sort of top-down leadership trickle down or just create more pushback? From a legal perspective, there's no shortage of debate about whether the government even has the right to impose a mask mandate. Some legal scholars say yes. As a general matter, it certainly doesn't infringe on constitutional rights. While some, including Democrats, say the administration can ask. But it is true that it's up to the governors to make decisions about the executive orders that we've put in place. Here's what Biden wants to see, a policy that starts at the top, then filters to the states. Right now, a majority of states, led by both Republican and Democratic governors, have a mask mandate. There are 15 with no statewide order, including Florida. All of those states are led by Republican governors who show no sign of changing policy anytime soon. In that case, Biden says he'll work with local governments, counties and cities toward passing mask mandates. While we prioritize getting vaccines first to the most at risk population. But in Florida, Governor DeSantis has made it more difficult for municipalities to enforce mask mandates by making it tougher to fine those who don't comply. There's also the question of whether some have become so entrenched in their opposition to even local mask mandates. All of you on this board are wicked people in the earth. Repent That's it. That's here. enough. That's enough. Cut her off. That a change in leadership at the top may come too late to change anyone's mind. One thing that could help Biden is if his plan was considered successful in areas that adopted it early on. He says he would like to double the amount of testing and expand contact tracing if that strategy is determined to be effective in bringing down the positivity rate and allowing businesses to open that much quicker it's possible that sort of success might convince others to climb on board